Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse. On this video I'm going to talk about point slope form. Keep in mind point slope form is just a different way of writing an equation of a line. Uh, and so uh, this is actually the equation in, of, of the point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1 in parentheses. It's kind of crazy looking. You might be familiar with the Y equals MX plus B form, which is the slope intercept form. Uh, again, these are just two different y ways of writing an equation of a line. On this particular kind of problem, uh, we're giving you a slope. And so M is just the slope, slope of a line. And then we have this Y1 and this X1. These guys are actually the coordinates of a point that that line crosses through. Uh, for example, if I look at this line right here, this line has a slope of a negative 3 over 5. Uh, and then I'm just choosing a, a random point on that line. In this case, I did 4, uh, 1. Uh, and so I would plug these uh, numbers into this equation. And when I plug these numbers into this equation, then I'm done with the problem. Uh, and so I'm just going to show you what I mean by doing two examples with you. It says write an equation of a line in point slope form with the given slope and containing the given point. So I'm giving you a slope, and then I'm giving you a, a point that that line uh, crosses through. And so I'm going to label this guy first, x1, comma y1. I want you to understand that this y1 is going to become this 1, and this x1 is going to become the negative 3, and then this m is just going to become the number 2. And when I'm done substituting these numbers into this equation, then I'm done with the problem. And so this is the basic problem that I start off with with my students when it comes to the point slope form, and then I build from here. So I have different videos uh, over different aspects of this point slope form on my website, and you're welcome to watch those as well. Uh, but let's uh, it's, again, it says write an equation of a line in point slope form with this given information. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start writing down these letters here. But when I get to the y1, I'm going to substitute in a 1. When I get to the m, I'm going substitu to substitute in a 2. And then when I get to the x1, I'm going to substitute in the negative 3, and then I'll be done with it. And so I'm going to go with y minus, and then y1 is 1, equals m is the 2, parentheses x minus x1 is the negative 3. Uh, now keep in mind here, these two negatives, the negative here and the negative here, combine to become a positive. And so it's actually y minus 1 equals 2, and then x plus 3. And then now I'm done, and that's it, just like that. Uh, now, there's something here that I want to focus on. Sorry, this is a little slant. There's something I want you to focus on here to make, make, you, uh, make these problems maybe a little bit easier. If I were to look at um, the, the coordinates here, and then I look at these numbers down in here, you see something funny kind of happens here. Uh, the x1 was originally a negative 1, but it becomes a positive, sorry, a, a negative 3, and it becomes a positive 3. And then this 1 here went from a positive 1 to a negative 1 down here. And so in the process of going from the point to the equation, we actually switched, switched the sign of each coordinate. So a negative 3 became a positive 3. A positive 1 became a negative 1. Uh, and then now keep in mind here, the slope stayed a positive 2. And so the slope doesn't change, but uh, the coordinates actually do switch numbers. And so let's do another problem, and then we'll call it quits for this video. Oops, sorry about that. It says, given the following slope and point, write the equation of a line in point slope form. So again, I'm giving you a slope. I'm giving you a point. Plug these numbers into the equation, and then we're done. And so before I go too far, I'm going to label this x1, y1. I highly recommend you do this. It just kind of simplifies what's happening here. And then I'm going to start writing down y minus y1. Well, y1 is the 2 equals m m is the negative 4 over 3, and then we have x minus x1 is this positive 5. And I'm done. That's it. Uh, and now again, I want to point out the slope stayed the same. That didn't change. The positive 5 became a negative 5, and that positive 2 became a negative 2. And so these guys, the coordinates switch signs. The slope doesn't, but it's just like that. So hopefully this helps you understand how to uh, make an equation in point-slope form with a given slope and a given point. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.